Hi, Dana here. Thanks so much for joining me for another great day for part of our Spring Into Health Challenge. This series is really my gift to you to help you do what I know you probably already know you need to be doing, but studies show that it's not really about knowing, it's really about accountability and habits and convenience. So today's topic is definitely all about habits and convenience. We are talking about sleep. So getting good sleep is one of the most important things that you can do to lose weight. Yes, believe it or not, that is true. In fact, sleep and stress are really what keep the weight holding on, sticking to our ribs and, and right around our middle a lot of the time. And they're more um, contributing factors than probably most people realize. And in fact, getting really good sleep, there's an art and a science to it, and I've written lots of blog posts about it. So I really encourage you to go check out the links that I will put into the email and follow them, read the blog posts, learn a lot more about sleeping and what we call sleep hygiene. So sleep hygiene is all of the tips and tricks to get a great night's sleep, to make sure that your room is really set up so that you feel like conking out and staying conked out all night long. And if you need any personal help, please reach out to me. I am happy to help. There are so many little things that can make a huge difference. One of them is communicate with all of your loved ones and partners. Let them know that you've got this sleeping goal and it's really important for you to make the room dark and quiet and cool. So when we say dark, I mean all the little blinking lights, you wanna get some black tape and really stick some black tape right over your partner's alarm clock light. Or if all of the phones are plugged in and the iPad and everything else in the room, see if you can move those out of the room. If you do need something to wake you up in the morning, if you can hear the alarm from outside the room, that's great. And if you can't, maybe get another alarm clock that's not quite so bright and doesn't emit those kinds of frequencies. It might help you with your sleep, believe it or not. So make sure you've got a great pillow. If you don't, treat yourself to an upgrade. There's so many things that make such a difference to our sleep. So if you do need any help, again, I'm available. Speak to somebody about it in the Facebook group and please read those emails about sleep hygiene. So I hope that today you can start implementing some new good habits around sleep. Try and get to bed by 10.30, that's the sweet spot. And if you can try and get seven and a half hours of sleep, that's ideal, or eight hours, depending on you. If you're getting five and a half or six, or even six and a half, even seven hours of sleep right now, why not try to just get 15 minutes more sleep tonight and for the rest of our series. So hopefully that was um, a new and and a really helpful um, tip for you and try it out and let me know how it goes. All right. 